Hey there, YouTube fam. If you're new here, I'm Dr. G, board certified pediatrician and fellow mom. Today, we're gonna to explore an important topic that affects many households, but many parents may not be aware. The connection between cow's milk conception and iron deficiency in children. Say what? I know, right? But don't worry, I'm gonna break it all down. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on important pediatric health topics. Let's dive in. What do tiredness, pale skin, and unusual food cravings have in common? They could be a sign that your child is suffering from iron deficiency anemia. I know that might sound scary, but it's a condition that is both common and manageable. Iron is crucial for making hemoglobin, which is a protein in red blood cells that enables them to carry oxygen around the body. And all of the cells in your body needs oxygen. When there isn't enough iron, your child's body can't produce enough healthy oxygen-carrying red blood cells, leading to anemia. There are several causes of iron deficiency in anemia in children. The most common one is pretty straightforward, just not getting enough iron in their diet. However, what I've learned is that many parents are surprised to learn that excess cow's milk consumption can lead to iron deficiency anemia in children. So that's what I want to focus on today. So how does cow's milk relate to iron deficiency? So that's the big question. Despite its many nutritional benefits, cow's milk can play a role in causing iron deficiency in children. There are two main ways this can happen. Number one, drinking large amounts. So cow's milk is naturally low in iron. When a child drinks excessive amounts of cow's milk, it can fill up their tiny stomachs, leaving little room for iron rich or iron fortified foods. This can lead to a decreased intake or dietary iron, which is essential for healthy blood cell production, like we said, and overall iron stores in the body. Number two, cow's milk protein affecting absorption. The proteins present in cow's milk, particularly casein and whey proteins, can bind with iron in the gut to form insoluble complexes. These complexes are not easily absorbed by the body. As a result, iron absorption is hindered and the iron that should be utilized by the body gets flushed out instead. Over time, this can lead to iron deficiency and subsequent anemia. Okay. So, Dr. G, what can we do to decrease the risk of iron deficiency in our kids? I'm glad you asked. Here are some important steps. Number one, focus on breast milk or iron fortified formula. For babies under one years old, breast milk or iron fortified formula should be their primary source of nutrition. Both breast milk and iron fortified formula provide the necessary iron for optimal growth and development during this critical stage. Number two, limit cow's milk intake. For toddlers over years old, it's re recommended to limit cow's milk to about 16 to 24 ounces per day, which is about two to three cups. Drinking more than this does not provide any additional benefits and can actually lead to iron deficiency or other nutritional imbalances. Instead, encourage your child to consume a variety of iron-rich foods to meet their nutritional needs. Additionally, cow's milk is not a necessity in your child's diet. There are many plant-based milk alternatives such as hemp milk, oatmeal milk, almond milk that can be used in substitution. 
This is especially important for children who have a cow's milk protein allergy like my daughter. This is where teaming up with your child's pediatrician can be helpful to ensure the milk alternatives offer the nutrients needed for your child's optimal growth. Number three, three, iron rich foods. Incorporate a range of iron rich foods into your child's diet. Good sources of dietary iron include lean meats, poultry, fish, legumes, aka beans, tofu, fortified cereals, and leafy green vegetables. Combining iron rich foods with foods high in vitamin C can enhance iron absorption. Number four, keep up with well check visits. Regular well check visits with your child's pediatrician are crucial for monitoring growth and development. These visits also provide an opportunity for nutritional surveillance and guidance during certain ages, such as the one-year-old visit. Anemia can be screened by checking hemoglobin levels. Early detection allows for prompt intervention and management if needed. Remember, iron deficiency anemia is a treatable condition and with proper nutrition and medical care, it can be effectively managed. By following these recommendations and working closely with your pediatrician, you can help ensure your child's iron levels are adequate for their healthy development and overall well-being. That's a wrap, my friends. I hope this video has empowered you with valuable insights and practical tips to ensure your child's nutritional well-being. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on future videos. And as always, I'm here to support you on your parenting journey. Take care. Bye.